friends and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a lipstick tip. I wouldn't even so much call this a technique because that implies that it is difficult or has many steps. This is just super simple and I've been doing it all the time. You may be doing it too, but I thought maybe I would share it just in case there's somebody out there who this is helpful for. Uh, this is about working with bright colors or dark colors or bold colors, um, things that maybe people can be a little nervous about using for different reasons. I will, when I do the demo, show you the lipstick that inspired me to do this video. In my January BoxyCharm, I received quite a bold color uh, in an Ofra long-lasting liquid lipstick. Uh, but, you know, it could be that you are subscribed to a subscription box like me and end up getting lots of bold, bright colors that, you know, you're a little hesitant to use, or you just want to play with more bright, bold colors, but again, you're a little hesitant about it. Why might you be hesitant about it? Well, if you're like me, there's a few reasons. Uh, maybe you're worried about you know, having your lipstick smudge if it's not one that dries down matte and then just look crazy with a bright color all outside the lip lines. Uh, it could be that you're not great with applying a bold color. So, you know, you can't get those really crisp lines or things just go kind of wrong. Uh, if you are a little bit more mature like me, perhaps like me, you have lines around your lips, which again, make it hard to get that crisp line. Uh, or perhaps like me, your lips are uneven or there's a reason why you don't really want to accentuate the crisp line around the outside of your lips. Because if you watch beauty YouTube like I do, there are people who have gorgeous, you know, big smooth lips that are symmetrical and they can just go bam, bam, bam with like a bold color and it looks amazing. I don't have that, so I have to find other ways to work with it. I have been loving using bold colors on my lips lately. I've really been going for looks like this, which is really nothing on the eyes, but like liner to accentuate, and then, you know, the base and blush, and then a bold lip. And because I tend to wear grays and dark colors, it just means that the attention is drawn to the lip color a bit. And just before I get into the lipstick tip, I'll also tell you what I did today because this might be a little bit of a tip for you as well. I've been really enjoying for my cheeks and my eyes lately is using a blush. This one is the Pixie Beach Rose, Rose Blush. Something that is not a pink or red undertone, but something that has more of a brown or even coral undertone. This one has quite a brown undertone to it. And I'm using that with a fluffy but tapered blush brush. I put that in, I start on my cheeks here, but then I take the tip part of it that has color on it and go up and onto my crease. And that's the only color that I'm wearing on my eyes. It's very diffuse because you're using this huge brush but it kind of brings everything together in a really pretty way and also gives you a little bit of that sort of C shape on your face um, that you know you often do when you bronze and contour. And it's been something really simple that I've really been loving the look of. But that's not what this video is about. So basically what I'm going to show you is a way to put on a bright, bold, lipstick that makes it more diffuse, that sort of starts from the center of your lips and blends it outwards. Um, there is very much a trend in Korean beauty of doing that. This isn't quite as um, taken to the next level that that is. In Korean beauty, they often use concealer to very, like to take away their lip line altogether and then just do a very center color that, you know, just comes out a little bit. That's not what this is, but uh, it has a sort of similar feel to it. So what I'm going to do now is hop you into the demo video so you can see how I have been playing with color. So to demonstrate this technique, I'm going to use the Ofra liquid lipstick that came in my last BoxyCharm, my January BoxyCharm. This is called Miami Fever. It can be a very bright, bold color because it's a little bit of a deeper color. It has a strong orange undertone to it. And when I first saw this and first sort of swatched it, I thought, ooh, can I make that work? And yes, I can. I'm gonna do this with my fingers first as because that's how I tend to do this. So we're gonna take the wand and I'm gonna grab myself a mirror. So the way that I do this is I start with putting, and you can, <laughs> there's actually a big chunk of lipstick on there, on my inner rim of my lips and then dab out from there. 
Start with a small amount. You can always add more. It's a little harder to take some away. So I've got it there on the inner row of my lip and I just dab a finger into it and then start dabbing towards the outside of my lips. You know, with my top lip there, it's now very diffuse. It's a little hard this time of year. My lips are always dry. And then I can, once I've dabbed it out a little bit, move it around a little. So right now the way I have it is it's very much of a fade towards the outside of my lips. The outside of my lips are not super well defined, which I don't mind because I have uneven lips. I have some wrinkles there. Having a crisp line always looks wrong on me because, not always, I shouldn't say that. It's either that I follow my lip line and my lips look uneven because my lips are naturally uneven, or I try to like sort of make up a lip line and then it just looks like I'm drawing outside the lines. Now, I can go in and build that up a little bit more. What you do have to be careful with with this technique is you're going to have lipstick on your finger. So be careful about hitting the rest of your face. And there we go. Uh, it is, <laughs> sorry, it's a little bright in here. Um, I have the color saturation that I want, but there's still a softness to it and it's very wearable. And also because I've really smudged and pushed the color around, it's not a thick layer of color in there. I very much don't have to worry now about knocking my you know, lips with my hand or doing something and having it smear all over, which is also one of my worries when I'm using a bolder color of liquid lipstick. The other way that you could do this that I honestly don't do as much, but hey, you may like it better, is to put it on with a brush. Now, putting a lipstick on with a lip brush is not anything out there. Um, you know, it does give you more control, but what I'm putting it on with is actually an eyeshadow brush. This right here is a Real Techniques uh, shading brush. So it's a little bit fluffy, but also dense and a little bit flatter. It's not like a big crease brush or blending brush, but I'm going to use this to do the same thing and still get that sort of diffuse stained look rather than a harsh line. Harsh line sounds bad. Some people have beautiful lips. Some people want really defined, you know, outsides of their lipsticks and that's awesome. Sometimes I do that too. But if you want something that blends a little bit more, this could be the way to go. So I'm just going to pick up some of the color off of the brush. And again, start with a little. It's always easy to do more. It's hard to do less. And then again, I start towards the inside so that If there's a little too much on the brush, you can sort of get it off there. And then work your way around. This even more so than using a finger gives a very diffuse, blend it, lip stain kind of look. And again, it's very dried down at this point. You're not gonna have to worry about this moving around because it is such a buffed in light layer of lip color. So if you, like I have before, work somewhere where it's a little more conservative, we're going in with crazy colors, uh, bright red lips, something like that maybe isn't something you can get away with, but you still wanna play with color, this may be a good way of doing it. Let me know how you play with color. Let me know what you do to make lipsticks that maybe wouldn't be your first choice of color or don't really come out looking the way you expected them to look if you went and bought it. How do you get them to work? How do you play with them? What tricks do you have? I would love to hear from you guys down in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me for this video today. And if you are somebody who has watched all the way through to the outro of this video, don't know how many of you do, 
I recently hit 3,000 subscribers on my channel, which happened much faster than I expected it would. I'm not doing a huge giveaway, but I would like to send to some viewer who watched all the way through to the end of this video and would enjoy it, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 palette. I only opened this for um, the unboxing of my January Boxy Charm. I've not swatched it, I didn't touch any of the eyeshadows or anything like that. Um, I'll link that video down below so you can see. Uh, if you are interested in receiving this, um, just leave a comment down below on the video. Uh, I will go through and see everybody who has commented and then I will choose somebody and I will respond to your comment. That's how you're going to know if you won. Uh, I will keep this video open until midnight on February 2nd or this contest open until midnight on February 2nd and then over the next day I will do the draw and let the winner know that they won. So very tiny little giveaway but I thought somebody can probably enjoy this palette. Uh, if you have any questions about it ask them down below in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!